Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Ghost Weight Guys podcast. I know we're not set on the name. Um, this has been a, a conversation we've had, but welcome to the podcast. I'll introduce myself. I'm Russ Bristol, and you are? Travis Hall. Travis Hall. And we wanted to bring this to you because uh, me and Travis have been talking about this for a while. Four or five months. Yeah, and we had, we've been going to the sporting events and, and saying people need to know the useless knowledge that is, that is in us. That's right. And uh, I'm full of it. And I'm, I, I can look at you and tell <laughs> you're full of it. And uh, people need to, right, people need to know uh, what, what's in our brains, scary as that may be. No, but we want to talk about everything that's going on in our lives and what's going on in the community, what's going on with the sports. So as you can tell right here, we're, we're all about the Gold Weight Sports, and we want to just, uh, you know, have a place where we can talk. And... Um, it's it's been a something that's been on our mind for a while now, and then Travis said enough's enough. Let's let's do it. So, yes, sir. How about that eclipse today? That was cool, huh? Yep. What did you think about it? Uh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, pretty neat. I I I was thinking of that as it was happening. Uh, you know how you know Scripture talks about how you know Jesus was crucified. Here we are, a week removed from from Easter. You know that Friday, that Good Friday, where um, you know it says the sun was blocked out. I never thought about that until, you know, that eclipse. And I'm like, wow, that's real. That could have happened, right? Yep. Right. Um, and I don't want to try to get too religious on here or scriptural, but that's who I am. I'm a pastor of the Cowboy Church here in Goldthwaite. And um, me and Travis are very similar in a lot of areas, but we have a lot, a lot of different backgrounds. Yep. Um, I've been in church my whole life as far as a pastor. I started preaching and teaching at 17. And, and Travis, tell me a little about your life. Oh, I've just been a little bit everywhere, done a, little, a lot of things in different places, uh, been to some pretty deep places and you know, dark places, and Russell's a neighbor here, we've mm-hmm. discussed a lot of things and uh, come a long way since. Yeah, and that's what we want to kind of talk about, There's, you know, we started talking to people, say, we, me and Travis talk, talking about starting a podcast, and uh, the common response was, I would listen to that, uh, just to hear what would come out of our mouths. <laughs> we mostly make fun of each other, but yeah. we have a lot of fun doing it. That's right. Yeah, no, the eclipse was cool, and, and, yep. and the, the town was crazy, wasn't it? Did you mm-hmm. get a, get Lots to look at that? Lots of people. Yeah, and, and, and I had, you know, I asked some people, like Brady Roundtree, you know, how far would you drive to see something like this? Before this happened, before I seen it today, I, I wouldn't have gone very far, but after... After seeing it, I, you know, I'd have yeah. drove a state or so. You know, really? Yeah. You would have yeah, gone. Yeah. How many hours you figured? Uh, half a day, maybe. You that's know, crazy. I wouldn't have gone halfway around the world, but yeah, you know. uh, that's crazy. I don't know if I would. I mean, I think it was cool. It was really neat. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We we got blessed to be in Goldthwait. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the town was crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, the weather was pretty decent. Yeah, well, you know, they talked about having clouds, and and it, it, but it turned out real nice. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so this is what we want to do every, um, I don't know if we're going to do this once a week, once every other week. Um, yeah, did you get fussed at about this? No, no. Okay, well, my wife immediately said, "That's, <laughs> that's you need to do one more thing, one I, more thing in your life. I tell her what I'm going to do, how it's going to go. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, I bet that's true. <laughs> but how about them Eagles, though? Hey, yeah. look good, softball that's team's right, looking good. Team. Yeah, big win uh, against Sin Sabo. Yeah, track, they... Mm-hmm. They moving on to the second round of golf is yeah. is Wednesday. Really, and so yeah, a lot of lot of good things, yeah. um, and you know we uh, are excited to be a part of it. I'm ready for. I mean, me season. and you kind of get yeah. We're going to talk about that <laughs> here in a little bit. But me and you kind of get a first uh, front row seat for yeah. all these sporting events. And yeah. I know I'm really spoiled because I get up there in the press box on football games and and basketball games. I'm at yeah. the scores table and then. And, you know, softball. I'm right there behind the yeah. behind the ref. So, um, or, or I guess it's called a blue. Ah, uh, blue. Yeah. Yeah. Umpire. It's, okay, yeah. but that's where I am, and th- and that's fun. But uh, so I kind of get spoiled with that. But uh, I'm wearing my Mavs swag today. Yeah. Big win over the Rockets. How about the Mavs? How about the Mavs? <laughs> Setting fifth, doing good, looking right. good. A big overtime win against the Rockets. Of course, I'm a big Mavs fan. And uh, so I know I know a lot of people. It's touchy around here because there's a lot of Houston fans. Oh yeah, a lot of yeah. San Antonio fans. I wasn't ready for that. 
But yeah, we're gonna have a guest uh, as much as we can, and we are we are excited to have uh, the first guest, the inaugural mm-hmm. guest, and that's going hmm? poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be Coach Andy Howard. That's right. And uh, we're excited, so we'll bring him to uh, up next segment and have have some time with him and discuss some things. Um, but this is what we kind of want to do in this is we want to not not necessarily talk about religion or politics or, or anything like that. We just want to talk about life. Normal everyday yeah. stuff. Yeah. I mean, me and Travis are mm-hmm. same age and it's kind of weird. Our, my kids, I have an oldest one and a youngest one and his kids are in between both of mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a 17 year old and a 12 year old. And Travis, how old are your kids? Uh, shoot, you would ask me that. 16 and uh, I say 15 and uh, 14. 15 and 14? 16 and 14. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How long have you been married? Oh, man. 20, f- going on 25 years now. 20, Amy's put up with you for 25 right. yeah. years. I tell everybody we've been happily married for four, but. <laughs> <laughs> I know better. Yeah. I know better. Yeah. So there's a lot that uh, we've kind of done behind the scenes to make this work. In fact, Chase is is driving the, the ship uh, for us, manning the controls back there. So thank you to him and. Richie that helped a little bit, so it's going to be fun. So, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about, then we're going to have guests on, but mainly, you know, whatever matters in golf plays is what we want to yeah. talk about. I think mostly know? today we're going to hit on the sports and stuff, you know. The, yeah. We've got a pretty good program around here, a lot of athletic kids, and a lot of kids are willing to work hard. Absolutely. You know, a lot yeah. of coachable kids. Yeah, so that's that's where we're, where we're going to head with it with Coach Howard in a little bit, but um, what else are you looking for in this podcast? What do you want to Man, see? Man, just, I can go all over the place with it. That's yep. True statement with we you. We get into all kinds of stuff. I mean, yeah. there's there's lots to talk about. Lots of things yeah. going on in this world that. Yeah, for sure. All over the place. For sure. Yeah. Well, uh, I know today was pretty neat for our town and the community as far as, um, you know, the hustle and bustle and being crowded and, and you know, I know a lot of restaurants and businesses uh, uh, benefited from that and that was a big thing. Yeah, and it wasn't too crazy. I mean, everybody seemed to be. You know, polite and mm-hmm. wasn't a lot of trash left around, no yeah. crashes, and, you know, I think it moved kind of smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know how many were in the park, but there were hundreds. Oh, there was, yeah, I'd say close to a thousand maybe in town, you know. Yeah. Scattered yeah. Down, counting down the highways. Counting the courtyard. I don't know how many were in, in the courtyard, but it was, it was pretty good, too. So, it's pretty neat. Yeah. I know there was, a, um, I was traveling last, yesterday, I was in Dallas, and uh, the traffic was, it certainly was picked up. Mm-hmm. So, but, yeah. But that was uh, was what kind of the events of the day. Yeah. I, I don't know where your family was, but mine were. We were up on the hill. They were up there, yeah. Yeah, were they? Mm-hmm. I, I heard people, but I didn't know where they were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of cheering. It was like you think the ball game was over with whenever yeah. it got dark. And then yeah. Three minutes later, everybody's packing up and leaving. That's right. So, <laughs> so Travis, we live. We're we're neighbors. We live on uh, a county road here, and. Uh, you know, there's a road that or a, a neighborhood before you get to us called the Snob Hill. Snob Hill. Yeah. yeah, we're like three foot higher in elevation, so I mean, we look yeah. down on everybody here. Well, right? we we're kind of <laughs> in the yeah, yeah, we do, yeah, we do. <laughs> but we we uh we live in where the wind turbines are, and yeah. they call, people call us. Thank we, goodness we had those because I think those kind of help clear the clouds out. Do you think? Yeah, yeah it blew the clouds away. Yeah, maybe something to that. Say, yeah. I mean, uh, why not? You never know. Hey, you know the uh, they call that the red light district, though. You know you live in the red light district. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where all those all those things are. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be be a lot of fun. So what's your um, what's your plans as far as um, this summer? School's almost over. Summer? Oh, I don't know. We really hadn't gotten there yet. It's, no, we haven't. That's why I well, said, what's your plans? I, mean, <laughs> I, mean, I don't plan nothing. <laughs> I, I just I don't know. It was a little bit of swimming, you know. And yeah. All right. Get out and about a little bit. I need to do some hiking. Yeah. 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 I'm the I'm as big as I've ever My been. My belly's in. almost as big as your head. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 Get hurtful. A little exercise. That's yeah. hurtful. <laughs> no, I I'm seriously I'm as big as I've ever been. I I'm, and it's I'm a Baptist pastor. I guess that's gonna happen. But I mean I've been having to fight. To, my wife bought me a stool for uh my son when he goes to golf tournaments. And she said, "That's your new golf cart." <laughs> so, I have to I have to walk the course with him and and sit. And that's a, I think, man, you fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand steps, and mm-hmm. that's hard on the fat Maybe guy. I'll go with you, follow you around. Hey, that's fine. Yep. Believe me, there's a lot of lot of terrain we cover with uh with golf. So, yes, sir. But yeah, well, well good that's deal. About, 
that's about it for my awesome well yeah, pretty uh, exciting we're we got a lot of stuff lined up this summer with with sports my son's going to be in a lot of basketball camps uh and then coach is going to talk to us probably about mm-hmm. football camps that they were part of so yep. um a lot going on and um excited to be a part of it yep. and so uh here That's we right. go we're going to done with this first part and then we'll, we'll move on to uh, coach and, and this interview sounds good to me All right, welcome back to the podcast, the Goldthwaite guys, and we'll talk about the name. I don't know what the name needs to be, but if you do want to connect with us, you can. You can email us at goldthwaiteguys at yahoo.com, and we'll get your emails, and we'll we'll listen to feedback, um, only positive stuff. If, you, if it's negative, we don't want to hear it. So, um, But welcome, Coach Andy Howard, head coach, athletic director for Goldthwaite. ISD, welcome to the podcast, Coach. Man, thank you, Russ and Travis, for having me on. Man, this is a, it's a neat deal. Yeah. I'm, a, you know, I listen to these quite a bit. You know, through yeah. drives, and I'm by myself. I'll, I'll get on some podcasts, and uh, you know, they're 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 viewed. The ones I get on are, are pretty. You know, they're they're viewed throughout the whole whole nation. And maybe one day we'll be on that deal. You know, I, maybe we'll hey. be hitting some views. And That's right. uh, you know, but I've always I've always kind of want to be on one of these. So, so thanks for having me. Yes, I'm excited yeah. about it. Glad and what a what a backdrop behind hey, us too. That, that looks cool? good. That looks yeah. good. I like it. It's got all our sports on it. Yeah. And uh, you know, they oh Eagles man they they get after it. Girls and boys That's they get right. after it year round. Yeah. We don't stop. Very proud program. Coach, I need you to do one thing, though. When you start talking about national wide coverage, I need you to lower your expectations a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. This is, this is well, two meatballs talking here. I, I have. You know, I'm first guest. So I'm right. just, <laughs> you got to start off, right? <laughs> well, Coach, we, we brought you up here. We want uh, to, to hit this show with, a, with go off with a bang, and that's what we're going to do, and that's why we invited you here. And, uh, Coach, we want to talk about sports, and we want to talk about sports and gold weight that's happening now. Uh, first off, I want to go back to Saturday, and let's talk about opening ceremony. How cool was that for our community to be a part of that for Little League sports? So talk a little bit about that. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, the, the board, uh, the youth board that, that put all that together, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into that, a lot of work, labor, you know, on the fields, a lot of organization goes into it. Uh, anytime you're hosting any kind of event, which, you know, we do, you know, year round within the athletic program is, you know, we under, we get it. I mean, a lot of work, a lot of time spent away from home uh, that goes into it. And, it, you know, at the end of the day, it's all for the kids. Yeah. And, and the, you know, and, and to see these kids grow up through a baseball program and a system is going to be ideal and huge softball as well. You know, uh, you know, because we're tied to that, you know, yeah. and, and. You know, when we get those kids coming into middle school and high school, you know, we want to have an edge on our competition. And so it's it's extremely important to get those programs started yeah. uh, at a young age, you know, and have guys committed to it, uh, parents committed to it, uh, to groom them, you know, and, and teach them, you know, the right way is, is huge for us on in the future. You know, I was, I was a good turnout as far as just kids alone and, and participants uh, in the in the Little League. I don't know how many t-ball teams I've venture to say six to eight I don't know and then you know it kind of dwindles down the older they get and just different different things going on but man the little t-ball program is is fantastic and uh, man kudos to the board of the Mills County Youth Sports Association for all of their uh hard work and dedication sponsors, to that yep. yeah sponsors uh what, who was uh, Invenergy was a big sponsor this yep. year and I know all the sponsors on the back of shirts. I, I would start naming them, but I know I'd, yeah, I, I, I don't want to mess them up. But that was big. And then, so, Coach, let's talk about right now in Goldthwaite sports. Uh, what's going on with softball? What's going on with baseball? What's going on with track and uh, and golf? So talk to us a little bit about what's going on. I'll tell you, you know, it's a, it's a whirlwind. And, you know, I have – you know, you have all our kids participating in multiple sports. And, you know, when you're in a small town, you want that. We promote that. We teach our kids that we want to help each other be successful in every in every team sport that we do. And in order to do that, you got to have participation. you got to have kids bought into it. And it requires a tremendous amount of commitment, 
not only from the kids, but from the from the parent, parents as well, you know, right. of, of right. helping them get to where they need to be and stay on track, you know, not only athletically, but academically. We've been talking about that with athletes all weekend about deal. academics. Yeah. You know, here we are the tail end of a six weeks and, you know, we want everybody to be eligible that's, that's participating. And so we're trying to hit on that too this weekend. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, you know, that, that these athletes and coaches do that, you know, kind of goes unknown. You know, a lot of people yeah. see the game. Right. They go to the game. Right. They don't They don't see all the preparation and time spent away from the game That's that right. these kids are, are able to do to get to the game. And and so yeah. it's it's just a tremendous amount of commitment. Uh, you know, our kids are, are uh, held accountable, you mm-hmm. know, uh, right. and they, uh, you know, they're disciplined. They work hard at it. And, you know, win or lose, we're going we're gonna to put everything into it we can to be successful. Yeah. And and that's that's the main reason we do it. You know how how can we grow and and uh, you know be better versions of ourselves. You right. know on into the future. Right. Uh, and and be willing to get up and go to work. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Get, make a get up. Yourself, right? Yes. Get up every morning. Yeah. Whether you got home at two o'clock in the morning or not, you're gonna get up. You're gonna go to work. You're gonna do it again. And that's that's what tough people do. And that's, that's how right. you win in life. That's right. Uh, good point. You know we're talking about you know a lot of us fans. You know me, Travis, and and a lot of most of the community. You know, we'll go to a game and they're like, well, that's, you know, 30 minutes, uh, hour, hour and a half, two hours for different games. But, you know, it's kind of like uh, what I deal with on Sunday morning. They think I just get up there and speak for 30 minutes. That's all I do all week. That's all we do all week. So talk about uh, softball right now, Coach. Sure. What's going on? Your head coach of the softball, coaching both your your girls and, and your niece. And let's, uh, I know it's got to be a proud dad moment to be able to do that. But It awesome. is. You know, they don't see it that way. They don't know, I don't know <laughs> if they like me out there too much. But it's tough. It's hard coaching coaching your kids, you know, Uh because you, you're the coach. You don't want to be dad out there. You're supposed to be the coach. But yeah. we've got and, – and, you know, here's the deal. As I'm here longer and longer and longer, you start to develop deeper relationships with, with your all with all your yeah. players. And uh, that's starting to happen. You know, I'm in year two, you know, with the softball girls. And so I'm starting to figure out how to push your buttons a little yeah. bit or how yeah. to pull off, you know, and, you know, how we can right. motivate them. And so you got to learn the kids too. It takes Every time. Every one different, right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but our, our softball our softball team is uh, – you know, we have we have quite a few girls out there. We have 19 girls out there, and so we're able to have a JV and a varsity. And, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to find as many games we can for those JV girls to play in to get reps. Uh, our varsity right now is top of the district. We're tied with Johnson awesome. City, awesome. Uh, you know, with the 10-1 and one record in uh, the top of the district. And so we've got a huge week ahead of us. So what, uh, is, what is the week? What, what, what game's coming up? I know we got one Monday. Uh, or a week from now. Yes. But what's going on? So, this so this week, this week we have a bye on Tuesday. We do not have a game on Tuesday, and then we play Harper Friday, which is a, a huge game. They're sitting in third right now. Okay. They have the best pitcher in the district. We we played flawless the last time we played Harper. Okay. Ed Harper, we didn't make one error. We fielded every ball, made every play, and then she struck us out fourteen times oh, man. that yeah. night. But we were able to yeah. work deep into counts. She ended up throwing 153 pitches oh that my day. Goodness. So we were able to see her, and we started getting on her late in the game. It took us to the fifth, sixth, seventh yeah. innings. We ended up winning seven to one. Uh, awesome. But it was it was a it was a feat. It was tough to do. Yeah. So it's a huge game coming up this be this, Friday. this Friday. Here this Friday, okay. it's a, it's a big one. A it's a big one because they, you know, I think, you know, they can beat anybody. They're yeah. they're good, yeah. and well, so. Travis, you got uh, um, your daughter playing on the, oh, yeah. on the TV yep. the team. Yep. She's JV and varsity combined, and mm-hmm. uh, it's good stuff it's going a on. Whole group, good group of girls. Yeah, it really is, and uh, led by two good seniors. Um, I know there's more than that, but uh, you know Abby Patrick's always there. But you know, mm-hmm. to pitching wise, you got Lainey Leverett, and mm-hmm. you got. Uh, 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 Danica, Danica, yeah. Macias, Macias. Mm-hmm. and, and the, both of those are just man, they're top shelf pitchers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good pitchers. They, yeah, and that that helps a lot. They do a good job, they, and they're two different types of pitchers, and yeah. so they get to yeah. see two different types of of arms. And you know, and then we've got Amaya Valencia behind the plate. She's yeah. she's one of the best catchers oh, around, man. and she, she has a gun. She, she she's really good. She she's done a lot of work back there. And uh, then you have Rainy House. Our seniors are Laney yeah. and Abby and Rainy and Amaya are yes. our four seniors. 
And then, uh, but we have a lot of good young ones coming. I'm telling you, they're they're uh, yeah, they are. they're competing, and so. Uh, Rainy House, uh, forgot about her. So um, yeah, she's been awesome um, for for years. Yes, and they can all hit the ball. They're getting they're getting a lot better. At, you know, that's what I've noticed. So. That's what I've noticed is that, man, they they they're aggressive at the plate. They don't look for a walk. Hit some home runs the last yeah. few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, freshmen. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. that's exciting. And, and although baseball. Has been a, a a lackluster year, but you know they've tried so hard. They they have, you know, coach. I've noticed when I watch the games and I call a lot of the games is, man, we have a hard time getting into uh, the pitchers. You know, uh, the boys they may only go have two or three at bats in a game, and, and that's hard. Mm -hmm. You know, you softball girls seems like they're up there five six at, at bats a game. And that makes a world of difference. That means you're going deep into the the you know the pitcher. You're getting you're getting good at bats. You're getting bat on the ball, and and you're you're moving through the lineup. That's good. And our baseball team's been struggling to do that. But man, they try so hard. They're they're just fun to watch. Oh yeah. And uh, they just you know uh, some things they just need to tighten up is what I've noticed. But uh, I'm proud of the boys. They've been doing good. I'm too. You know, and that's you know I I knew. I knew coming over here, I knew where we were on, on, on the baseball end. Baseball is extremely important to me. Yeah. Uh, I love I love the game of baseball. I coached baseball for a lot of years. And, you know, I kind of coached softball like I did baseball. I don't yeah. know any different, right. you know. I right. And I have to catch myself, you know, a lot of yeah. times like, wait, that's a baseball. Dude, that ain't yeah. softball, you know. Right. So, uh, and, you know, that stuff, it's important to me. And, uh, you know, but I'm going to tell you this, like the program's growing. Yes. Win, win or loss, we're we're improving yes. in that aspect, and, and that's what I want to see. I want to see us continue to improve, and those guys to continue to go to work. You know, and when there's failure, there's there's lessons learned too. Yes. And so you take how you how you respond to failure is important. And yeah. we talk about that stuff. And you know, can you become better from it, or is it gonna is it gonna bring you down? Right. And and so we've got to continue to get back in that box, yeah. and like you said, have better approaches at the plate, right. and uh, and learn from that learn from those failures to yeah. be better on later on down the road and and i think we're doing that i think yeah. we're doing that we've got yeah. two guys out there that are passionate about it uh they yeah. coach their tails off they spend a lot of time out there with them and and uh you know i think we're headed on the right track i agree it, i agree it's a process i tell you what also has been a process and i'm really proud of it is the fields themselves um the, you know, the fields look amazing. The baseball field looks yeah, really yeah. good. And the softball field always looks a lot better than the baseball field. But not a lot better, but it's better. And, and, and you know, that's, that's a lot of hard work, a lot of time and effort put into that. I don't know who's doing it, but they deserve uh, uh, attaboy because the fields look fantastic. Yep. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's you, huh? There yeah, you go. I, I, I there you go. There mo and he told me stay you away do, you from stay me. off that field. No, <laughs> nobody right. mow that field until we're done. I don't even want you, yeah. want you to look at it. Baseball, though, is uh, this the first year you're bringing on some junior high uh, yes. boys uh, baseball yeah. that we've never had before, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so the UIL, you know, and, and I'm on a, I'm on the track, THSEA track committee. Okay. So UIL and I are going to have some talks okay. in, in, in this coming May at the state track meet. But – they keep pushing track up and up and up, and they're yeah. making it's too early. It and is. and so we're finishing. We finished district track with junior high last week. Here they are. They got nearly a month and a half of nothing, oh, yeah. no yeah. competitions. And so I thought, well, what a better opportunity, you know, because we'll start throwing the ball football around some and you know doing some of that right. stuff. But what better opportunity than right now in these couple of months? As because yeah. a lot of these boys are playing in the league, right? And then right. some are going to play and travel baseball in the summer. Sure. And so what a better way to just get out there and teach them what we yeah. like to introduce and and just the fundamentals of it. Uh, so we're going to start that this week, and and we're gonna yeah. we're gonna host. Uh, Hamilton's coming up. They have a junior okay. program as well, so Good. they're going to come over this weekend and, and play us on Saturday in right. Gulfway. That's exciting. That's good. You know, and you know another point to that, Coach. When you have and and I have nothing but praise. When you have basketball programs that go to state. That kind of pushes everything into another. Yeah. You know, a month. We played a month of playoff basketball. Yes. That you know, that's awesome and that's mm -hmm. great. But it it affects other sports. It you does. Know? And so uh, you want that. That's a good problem to have. Um, but it is a problem. So yeah. no, that's that's exciting to know that. So that's something I like to see too. You know, not just our. You know, we. You know, years been years ago with football went a long ways all the time, and then our girls went state. And you know, get good yeah. baseball, softball, them girls on the on track. Yeah. Because I like to see Gulfway doing good at everything, you know. 
like you said, golf. You know, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we'll tell you what, we got some freshman golfers that are mm-hmm. really, really good and impressive. Yeah. I know there's uh, a lot of softball girls that coming in there playing this year that never played before, right? I mean, yeah. there's this yes. you know, like that in a baseball deal too. You got some kind Absolutely. Of, we do. And and, and that's that's why and that's why I love the fact you threw bones towards uh the youth association yeah. because we do we have a few softball girls that have come out there that have never picked up a glove and wow. and so you know, yeah. you, you've got girls that have played their whole childhood all mm-hmm. th- all year long, you know, summer travel stuff. Right. And then you got this group that are learning. And so yeah. you got to learn on the fly, yeah, you know, and yeah. so and they've done a great job. You talk about some tremendous improvement with with some of those girls, you know, That's learning awesome. on the fly and, and staying at it. Same with the baseball in. Yeah. But, you know, it is it, it's a busy it's another b- huge, busy week, you know, because we have yeah. baseball on Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we're hosting Hamilton Tuesday night. Our, uh, you know, again, we're open with the softball group. Wednesday, we're second round of district golfer, right yeah. in the hunt. Atlanta. Yeah. I think we're 20 strokes behind qualifying, yeah. so we got to go so. catch that that team right over that purple team right yeah. over there. We yeah. don't like. I think it's oh, Mason. Uh, oh, it's San Sal. Uh, dar- yeah. Them darn Dillos. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we got to go catch them yeah. 20 strokes. I think that can happen. I do too. I do too. Uh, you know, for, after seeing some of those scores, you know, I think we can we can go get that, and so that's a big day Wednesday for the golfers. I know. Uh, yeah. The girls are the girls are sitting pretty right now in yeah. second. Yeah, and so uh, it was good to see Hope's playing really well right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's at seventy two, I think, the other day. Wow. Wow. Or no, seventy four, maybe. I I don't know. It was close to par. I, I know that. It's something I've never shot in my life. <laughs> right. I can shoot a shotgun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, one other thing yeah. I like to bring up, and I'm kind of partial with them boys. Is, you know the. And you came up with them since third grade, the eighth, the eighth grade football boys. Yeah. You know, I'm just, you know, my, my boys on there, and they, they've never been beat. They haven't been beat one time yeah. coming up. You know, and you've been with them guys since yeah. since day one, and a lot of the other ones above, too. You got so. nephews there, right? Yes, I have yeah. nephews there, and, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good group of boys. It is. It's a good group of boys, and, and you know, and what a, what a great groups. You know, we got great groups around them, too, yes, you know, to, yeah. that are going to. I'm telling you, like we've we just got to stay at it. You yeah. know, again, it's a process, and uh, you got good families at home, good parents yes. that are supportive, and you know, main thing. And, and one of the, you know, I tell people is when you take a job at Gothway, when you when you want to apply at Gothway, mm-hmm. main thing is is the expectations. Like, yeah. you don't, I don't want to be a part somewhere where there's not high expectations. Right. And we have it on our staff. We have right. it in our program. We have it at home. And we have it in the community, and, and it, it, it's a it's a team effort. That's it's right. it's going to take all of us. It's going to take all of us to be successful. And you got to you got to think successfully. And you got to uh, you know um, surround yourself with successful people. Do what successful people and programs do, yep. and you kind of take on that, right? That's right. Well, let's talk about. Um, well, the eighth grade football, it's going to look different for next year because yeah. they're going to move I'm up. Excited, to, and some of them are going to be on JV. Some of them might move right. on up to varsity. Can we, can we talk about track first? Let's talk yeah. track. Because, track. Yeah. I'm, boy, I Big love deal. that track. I yeah. love that track. Um, yes, it's a huge deal because we, we had the district track meet the other day. Our girls won the district championship yes. back-to-back, you know, won that thing again. Uh, they have they have some high quality girls that, yes. that ha- you know, have great opportunities to, to advance not only State past champs. area – to regionals right and, and get some of those girls over the state track meet is a big deal uh you know and and then but then on the boys end you know we end up third and i'll tell you why here in a minute but you know we were the defending district champs in track and you know we went over there to go defend it yeah uh, whether whether we lost some guys from last year or not right. like we were going to defend right. it and right. and how you do that is you load the bus full of boys and right. we did that you know, we took yeah. 39 boys over there to compete, awesome. and they did a great job. And, and you know, and and I think I'm gonna say we, you know, we were the most represented good team good. there. You know, That's had the most boys there. Yeah. You know, because competition, competition. Like I tell our guys all the time, like, I don't, you know, you may not. Nobody really wants to go run that 400 meters. You know, like it's tough. I don't know. It's made tough. That race, but yeah. But. But it's tough, right? Yes. And when, when that gun blows, it's you know you're either gonna go get it or yeah. you're not. And 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 we got a lot of guys that are just gonna go get we it. Got a lot of heart. And, we do. And we do. And so I think that carries over into every sport. I think you know, like you said, when we get in the batter's box at a baseball game, if you're that dude that's running at 400 meters yeah. and it gets tough, then you're gonna fight a little tougher in that right. box. Right. You know, it's a mind- mentality. So it is. It's a mentality, and 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 that's what we want to be about. And so we did a great job. We we had a. 
first part of that track meet, you know, we, we got some guys out in the field events uh, that we weren't expecting. I mean, great, great job, you know, with those guys. And and then we dropped the stick in the four by oh, one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we dropped the stick in the four by one. And then, and so we knew we had to get top two and mm -hmm. had a chance to do that in that mm -hmm. race, yeah. Yeah. you know, because you double point the relays. Yeah. And then, dang it, we dropped the stick again in the oh, four by hey. two. Oh, no. And so that, that, you know, pretty much eliminated yeah. us from the district championship. But I'm going to tell you right now, our mile relay came back yeah. and went 326. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know if Goldthwait's gone three. I don't know when the last time they've gone 326. Yeah, yeah. It, I, it's got to be there are 15, some, 20 years. There are some studs on that 4 by 400 yeah, right? Yes. They, uh, you know, there's some expectations on that. Coach, just a yes or no question, and I know you know – I already know the answer. Uh, uh, Laney J going to win state hurdles, yes or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Matter. Absolutely. You know, in the Harper girl – you know, beat her the other day in, the, in really? the three hundreds. Now that girl's a, she's good. Wow! But they kind of they've kind of battled their whole childhood. You know, okay. coming up in the ranks, and okay. so now, Laney's got a little more motivation. Yeah. You know, wow. she uh, uh, she's run, and she, I mean, she didn't run her best race. I mean, she just okay. didn't that day. You know, hurdles are that way. They are. I mean, <laughs> you got to run clean races. Yes. You yes. know, or you can get beat. And uh, I know she's going to come back with a vengeance and and take, defend yeah. that title for yeah. sure. That's for sure. And then. You know, on the boys, you know, you got some some sure enough guys that are probably going to go to – I mean, Colt Ness, he's going to go to college, probably run a track. Really, uh, uh, you know, Laney J signed with San Angelo, uh, Angelo State. State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And, and track. And so that's just – you know, C Coach, kudos to you, you know, athletic director with, with all the success that we're seeing. I know you're, you're men's athletic direct, uh, director, but, you know, how far do we go in basketball playoffs? You know, you got some guys that are going uh, deep into state. Um, you know, so a lot of good things moving forward when the guys end as a whole. And then the ladies, I mean, they just keep on knocking it out of the park, don't they? Yes, they do. They do. Yeah, they're awesome. So, yeah, track, anything else, Coach? That's awesome stuff. No, you know, we have the area meet this Thursday. Okay. And, and that's it. Fall City. Fall City. Just okay. a little short trek down to <laughs> Fall City, you know, a little yes. three-and-a-half-hour trip right. On, right. A, on a weekday. Yeah. And then we got to get back and play a baseball and softball game the next day, right. you know. So that that's what I'm talking about, the commitment level mm -hmm. of our kids is they're going to have a lot of them go down there all day track meet in Fall City, then come right back around yeah. and have to go win a huge yeah. softball, softball game, game the next night, you know. And they will. And they will. Because I, I, I know they will. Um, all right, so, Coach, that kind of puts us into the summer as far as the end of the year. Let's talk about upcoming things we can look for for the summer. I know we talked Little League sports. That's going to be going wide open. Uh, but what – What's going to bring us into the fall this summer? Okay. Seven on seven. Yes. Yes. So we have, uh, and and I really, I'm glad you asked because I, I uh, Coach Landers and I sit down and we I topped up the uh, our summer plan. I've got every date filled, you know, for the oh. summer. Uh, today I did that today and waiting on a couple more dates and I'm gonna send that out so parents can plan vacations yeah. and things like that early on. The summer's gonna look different than it has. I'm. I've, I'm, I think I'm on to something here, okay. right? I'm all, we're always, news yeah, we're, 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 we're always trying to adjust, right, and make okay. it better. Like, how yeah. can we, how can we be better? You right. know, come, come fall and all that stuff. And so, you know, we're, uh, we are going to be into, you know, in May. You know, once track starts winding down, baseball winding down, then we're going to start hitting more of our seven on seven stuff. Good. Uh, we have a state qualifying tournament already May 18th. That's oh, wow. the that's the Saturday we get out at graduation. Where's that at? And that's going to be in Abilene. Okay. Ha Holly is hosting it, and so it's going to be in Abilene. We'll go out there and compete in that deal. And you know, and our guys qualified last last summer for the one down in College Station. Yeah. So we have plans to do that. Uh, just be at our best there, and and right. basically what I tell our kids with seven on seven, it's just a tool for yeah. us to to we're throwing the football around we're throwing it we're catching it yeah. and we're running our coverages like we're not out right. there a lot of a lot of guys or teams will go out there and just have a seven on seven yeah. offense and a yeah. seven on seven defense well we're going to run our schemes yeah. and playing, we're going to be better at them when they're playing street ball yes and yeah. <laughs> they are i mean you yeah. see some of the formations and motions yeah. <laughs> that are illegal in real football but right. but we we run our stuff and try to improve there awesome. uh through it and then uh so we have seven on seven going on. We'll also have going into June. We have lineman challenges. Now our That's kids good. have really bought into that deal. You know, yeah. we were able to to win one of those, the qualifier last year, with our guys, and then 
uh, qualified us for state, and that does awesome. it hard in Simmons. And wow. so they they do it upright. I mean, yeah. you should see. I'm telling you, if you've never been in one of those things, oh, yeah. they're unbelievable to cool. watch. You can get down on the field with them, and those big old guys are competing, and and it's a it's a great day. I, that's one of my favorite days of the year that's, is going to those lineman that's challenges. Me and Travis is kind of thing. yes, Man, we're big boys. We're those like, guys, yeah, they got to compete too. That's right. And I'm gonna tell you right now, like. We got some big old linemen. We do, and our and our, our dudes are working. Yes, I mean those I guys mean, are workers. I, you know what? I have to look up to Daniel Barrera, and I know that dude is man. He's heavy. He's thick. That's a big human mm-hmm. being. He's he. You know he. You know he had that injury, yeah, which yeah. which hurt us tremendously sure. oh, yeah, last fall. You know, in the middle of district, and uh, man, he's he's almost a hundred percent ready to roll. Back? He's okay. he's back and. You know, he's running. He's full speed. He qualified for the area trap meeting in the yeah. shot put. That's huge, yeah. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to go about 46, 47 this week, hopefully, and, and qualify for regionals as well. But he's back and, you yeah. know, getting close to being full tilt. And we have some buffet busters. We that, do. That line, you know, Hugo and then and, and Barrera and, uh, you know, Jack Wetzick's coming yeah. back. That, he's Edmund Martinez, yeah. big old boy. Big Jacob boy. Ross is back. Yes, I mean, yeah, so and he's getting bigger and stronger. He is. He is. I've been, so. I've been really impressed with Jacob. Up in baseball too. Caden Coho. Caden Coho. Yeah. Pretty solid. Mm-hmm. It's exciting, Tom. So that's going to get into our our fall, and I want two two kind of questions here, and let's talk about the first one. Uh, we got realigned um, in district. So what is? I don't know anything about this new district. So talk to us about what do we should expect and. And uh, what are we in for? Well, so we'll take a fuel. Yeah, so you know, it was a huge day when they came when they came out with the numbers. You know, that's a big day, and it was a big day in Goldthwaite because we knew we were right on the bubble. Would we be the small guy yeah. in Division One again? Yeah. You know, because you saw yeah, the Tellers totally were, and the yeah. Hamiltons and the Coleman's that yeah. had. 35 guys on their sideline and yes. using them all. Yes. Well, that's a big deal in football. Yeah, it really is. And, and then are we going to be the top end of Division Two, Right. Which is going to – you're going to see a lot more – the numbers are going to be similar. Right. And so, uh, we were able to – we went down to D2, yeah, which good. is good. Yes. Um, you know, and, and, you know, I have film on all our opponents that we'll be seeing. And and you see it on the sideline. There's yeah. eight or nine guys over there on the yeah. sideline. And yeah. that's that's huge because you got guys yeah. playing every snap. That's right. Just Iron like we football, just like we right. are. Yeah. Just like we are. And uh and so, you know, we went we went down to, to D two, which which was a positive yeah. for our program. And then, you know, but in, you know, here's the deal in Gothway, like, it don't matter who you match up with, uh, we right. we're gonna be ready. Right. And so uh we drew, you know, going into realignment day, you know, I went to Abilene. I went to Abilene because I thought for certain we're going Region One, mm-hmm. and and I, we sent Coach Edwards to Waco just in case. Ah, uh, maybe we could go Region Three. But if you were, you know, because we got the map out and yeah. everything when we went yeah. D two, and we had it all projected. Okay. You know, we okay. we, we knew plan, huh? we knew exactly what the UIL was going to do, and yeah. you never know what the UIL is going right. to do. Right. So anyway, we got we got into Region Three, mm-hmm. which is. It's going to be a trek now. Like, we're going to have to travel. Yeah. yeah. And it's some big travels. I mean, six of our eight opponents, district opponents, or seven opponents, are over two hours and 15 minutes. Wow. So, one of them's a little over three. Good and so, yeah. we, like it were them. Yeah, Meridian's are close. Yeah, That's right. in an hour and 45. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you know, we got Meridian in there. We've got Hubbard. Uh, we've got Frost, okay. which, you know, and then we've got a Wortham who's returning quite a few guys off okay. last year's team. And then we got the, the big three guys that, that are probably all going to be in the top ten in the state really? of Texas. Wow. Yeah, so we cool. drew we drew some okay. some some good ones. Okay. And uh, so we got Mart in there. We've got Chilton, who played in the semifinal yeah. uh, against Mart. Mm-hmm. But Chilton got to the semifinal by beating Bremont in the quarters. Bremont's in the district as well. So those three teams, Mart, of course, played for the state championship last year. And then Chilton was in the semis. And then Chilton beat Bremont in the quarters. Okay. So they, they've made deep runs last year. Bremont returns okay. a lot of their guys. Yeah. Mart's graduating quite okay. a bit, but they okay. say they have a good freshman class coming in. And then uh, As do we. As do we. Oh, yeah. And and then and then Chilton, Chilton's quarterback graduated. They say he went to they got a, Full ride to Tennessee to run track. Okay. Like Duke can fly. Wow. But they have their return to running back and some linemen. So it's gonna be it's gonna be 
tough, but yeah, yeah. but we're in Gold's way. Yeah. Like what what else you want? We like that. You know, we it, love it. It's it's that kind of the same thing with um and and you know I'm a basketball nut, but it's like the girls' uh, basketball district this year. I mean, how many of those girls did we play in the playoffs? We played uh, you know uh, Johnson City in the playoffs. We played San Saba for the regional tournament, and uh, then we played one more. I think maybe I can't remember who it was, but uh, you know you playing them and deep in the playoffs that that lets you know your district's stout. Right. And that gets you ready for the playoffs. Right? It does. It does, and, and it and it's also going to be beneficial to our program in the long haul. I, yeah. I'm just telling you, when you play those opponents, it prepares you. Right. It's going to prepare those that young group of kids, yeah. you know, to see that town of talent. And so we we want to invite that stuff. You know, we don't shy away from it. And you know, some people do. Yeah. Some people see that. Yeah. And you know, yeah. and 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 want to want to duck their head, right. but. There's some people that want to run and jump into the fire. Right. And, and play, they and play an easy non-conference or non-district uh, uh, schedule, and then they're not ready for district. Right. You know, and then, right. they, then their district is just a nightmare. Right. And, you know, you asked me, you know, what I know about them. I know absolutely nothing about any of those okay. schools. <laughs> I mean, okay. I, I have never coached against any of those guys, seen any of those guys, except for Mark. Um, yeah. But, but we'll be prepared. Well, this is good. This is a blank slate, then, right? This Absolutely. Is starting to start to fresh. So, yeah. all right. So, another question I have, and Travis, you have one. Uh, feel free to jump in. No, I'm good. So, so here's. I ain't got a question from him yet. Uh, well, I know, I know it. Hey, he's he's supposed to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um. We get in that next segment. I'll have a few. <laughs> so here's the question I got. All right. So we uh, lost our quarterback. He moved uh, to another town. Um, we have a fantastic freshman, soon to be freshman, coming up that looks, man, he can throw the ball over the field. Mm -hmm. uh, but yet, there's there's talks of you know let's move Sanderson back there into uh, the <laughs> backfield. Let's uh, what Aiden Lee. What what is what does the quarterback in the backfield look with? If you don't want to get, I don't yeah, wanna tell well, our secrets, but that's funny how there's talks out there. You know, <laughs> like right. It's you speculation know, at this yeah. point. Yeah. Right? So we have talks yeah. in our in our coach's office right. that. That stay in the walls. Yeah, and and I know? don't want I don't yeah, want to treat and, that right. And so you know, here's the deal: we have you know coming over here, you know, and kind of switching offenses a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to build your offense around the guys you have, yeah, right? Yeah. And we're looking, you know, I'll just throw it out there, but you know, we've been grooming Aiden Lee mm -hmm. to be a quarterback. Yes. We've been grooming Hayes Greenway to become a quarterback. Right. We've been grooming Blake Howard to be a quarterback. Right. We're going to groom Kenton and Cannon Wright uh, yeah. to be a quarterback. Correct. So you got to groom quarterbacks. Sure. Year in and year sure. out. You can't – we don't wait on kids. Right. You cannot wait on kids uh, or else they come back to get you. You won't yes. be prepared. Right. And so, that's a process. Like, yeah. quarterback is – I think – it. I, I, I don't know, think. It is the hardest position of – any position in any sport you play, I agree. It's the toughest position to, pl to play. Be smart and quick and on your toes and, that's, and, that, and head, you know, your eyes. Busy. Yeah, and uh, and you know, you've seen quarterbacks that that are kind of thrown into that position and they're not ready. The game's too fast for them. Absolutely. You know, and that's what you don't want is you don't want right. a guy that, as soon as he gets the ball in his hands, freaks out. Right. 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 So we have we're we're on track yeah. where we want to go. There's going to be some differences offensively. Yeah. Uh, Sanderson will be in the backfield more, right. and so well, which uh, one? Both. That's good. That's a good thing. And, and we got Ma thing. and we got Max Storm coming. Yeah, we got yeah. Gary Weedabush that can run, and he's yeah. bigger back. Like we've got some options back there. So you're going to see a little different look in the run game, more. And and with a with a kid like Aiden Lee, yeah, he's electric with the ball in his oh, hands. Yeah. Just you know, you, space, right? people haven't really got to see him go with the ball in his hands, but I've yeah. seen it, and he uh, he's going to be able to make some big time plays. Yeah. On foot, you know, and then yeah. we've got to de continue to develop his throwing. Yeah. But, you know, that's not going to be, you know, again, we're going to fit it around yeah. those guys. Hayes is a different guy than Aiden Lee. Yes, and so is. we're going to build that offense around Hayes and, yeah. and, and, and what they, what his strengths are. He's more of like an RPO type oh, guy. Man, like he, he can is. throw it around a little bit. And so, he can. Uh, you know, and he's, and he's smart and all those things. And so we just got to continue to grow him and, and uh, and be smart at what we're doing, and get the ball in the guys' hands. Yeah. We and, and you know, and even while moving Luke into the backfield, something which you know, uh, we'll be able to still get him on on certain DBs yeah. and throw him the football sure. as well. And 
And then you, we got, I'm telling you, we got a kid in Case and Weedabush that has the best, some of the best hands I've ever seen. Really? That's that kid awesome. can catch anything. That's and uh, he had a great track year, so he's developing yeah. speed. We got yeah. Zach Rodriguez at, at receiver as well. Oh, he's fast, we, yeah. And, you know, in, in Malachi, and we've got a lot of options out there at receiver. And so yeah. it's going to be good. And But, you know, here's the deal. The game's always won where? Between the lines. Up front. Oh, well, front. I up messed front. it up, Dad. I have one job. It is one between one the job. lines. You got, you got to stay in bounds. So, but, so I got half right. But up front. <laughs> yes, that's sir. We and, <laughs> and that's hey, that's where we'll hang our hat. Yeah. And well, we'll, we'll always hang our hat there. You know, and that's that's a good question. And, and like you said, you don't know much about the uh, district that we're going into. Um, but, man, we do have size up front, and that's going to that's gonna make a lot of difference, especially with guys like you talk about, Aiden Lee, uh, Sanderson, Luke Sanderson. Uh, just get them guys space, Max Storm. Get them guys space, and they'll break a tackle. Oh, I know. You know, and you just need one or two tackles, and they're and they're right. in the end zone. So that's exciting. Yeah. A lot of experience, you know. And this in our third season with this, our schemes, and you know, we're going to spend less time on the grass, more in the film room, and because we know where yeah. we are. Yeah. We we know what we're doing. We know what our schemes are, awesome. and uh, got a lot of experience up front, which is huge. Defense, talk to us a little bit about defense. What does that look like? Well, defense, you know, we, we return quite a few there too as well. And, and uh, you know, the, the voids that we're looking at are our line, outside backer spots. You know, who we're going to put in those those bubbles. And I know Coach Landers is kind of working towards, again, switching some things defensively to fit what we have yeah. and, and what we have coming as well. I mean, you got to plan yeah. ahead too. Yeah, sure. And so, uh, you know, he's he's diving into some new ideas, and uh, we're going to be moving a little bit more, so a little more slanting and uh, freeing those guys up to run a little bit uh, because we are – we're going to graduate all these big dudes. Right. And we're going to be a little smaller, but we're going to be fiery. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and uh, so we're trying to fit some things around those guys yeah. as well coming up. That's good. Travis, what else you got? Defense wins championships. That's You're right. dang right. That's you know, right. and I'll Spread. say this, Coach you know, That's right. absolutely. So I was like a, you know, and, and myself, you know, I was on the defensive side. I was a defense coordinator, you know, for 10 years. Well, you even in college, what'd you play? Well, I played DB. Yeah. Played corner That's in college. Right. And so I was on the defensive side my whole career. When I was head coach at Brady, I, I took over the offense and then, just recently, when I went to Brownwood, you know, mm -hmm. I was on the offensive side uh, as the offensive coordinator, and and but my my backbone is defense, yeah. and I think I I swear the best offensive guys have are defensive guys, right? Because yeah. they know yeah. how you fit and and yeah. and what your schemes are. And, cool. But but the main thing is is we got another our, our staff is fully equipped on the defensive end. You know, got Eric Edwards, who was the defense yeah. coordinator for years. Yeah. And then Coach Head's been the defense coordinator here. Coach Landers, you know, was a defense coordinator right. f with me at Brady. Really? First go. That. Okay. And then he went on, you know, to, to Roosevelt and then got him back here. Awesome. And uh, and then we've got, uh, uh, you know, Coach Norwood, Coach D-Line. -Li yeah. I mean, yeah. that's where he's been. And then Coach Jernigan, you know. But so we have, you know, four guys on our staff that were – yeah. coordinators on the defensive side that's so i guess our, our football team is kind of built around defense yeah. that's you know good, and, and that's that's, thing. that's what i want you know so, i want you we know we got to stop people you gotta have good offense put the points on the board too that's right yeah yeah, yeah. so it looks good looks good all right coach we're going to end this up a little bit we're going to throw you some some rapid fire questions and this is just you and what you like now here's the deal it cannot be gold weight answer okay all right so okay um, what's your favorite NFL team? Oh man, I, that goes year to year. Uh, well, you're bandwagon guys. What you're no, saying? because I'm a I'm a coach guy. Okay, okay. You know they fire coaches like yes. crazy in the yes. NFL. Yes, they do. So like, I, I was a Belichick guy. Okay, I love yeah. the way he operates. Sure. And that, Tom Brady cap right here. Okay. TB12. Well, let's see. And Richie, so, Richie was is I, loving that. I that's mean, he's that. he's like I followed him yeah. and and Tom Brady. Sure. And then when Tom Brady went to the Buccaneers, right. of course, you want, I, I, went with the, I wanted the Bucs. Okay. You know, I wanted them to win. I, I guess I'm really a fan oh. of anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm not a Cowboys fan, if that's what you're getting Okay, at. well, that, that's an answer. <laughs> that's an answer. I'm not a Cowboys right. fan. Travis, what's your favorite? Favorite soccer team. 
Oh, what hey. in the world? Hey, the one MLS. question I get from you, <laughs> communist. <laughs> you're communist. I've had a lot of time to think. We don't have soccer here in America, do we? Let's go with baseball. Okay. Oh, that's baseball. So that's easy. I'm the Cubbies fan. Have been since I was four years old. Okay. Die hard Cubs fan. North Side Chicago. Yes, and I've trained my son to be a die hard Cubs fan as well. So it's it's fun to get to watch those guys. I'm going to use a Yankee. <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. You, you, that was the heyday where you know back with Ryan Sandberg, Andre Dawson. Oh, so man, those the guys. Hawk was my guy. Like, oh yeah, the Hawk was my favorite guy. And you know, I, I'll never forget sitting in my great grandmother's living room, and she had that old TV. You know, it had the yeah, it was like a Dallas. furniture. It was yeah, furniture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to move yeah, a little the screen there. Yeah. yeah, and so. The Cubs were on every day. Every day. Every single day. WGN so that's how, Network. Yeah, WGN yep. Network. And, yeah. You know, there were four channels back then. That's and, right. and they were on TV every day. Yep. Them and the Braves. Was you know, Dale Murphy and them and yeah. the Braves. And, yeah. Uh, so I just grew up watching the Cubs, and yeah. I knew at 1 o'clock, you know, they didn't have lights yeah. back then. Steve yeah. Bouchel, third base. Steve Bouchel. Yeah. Uh, Sean Dunstan at short. And that's right. Rick yeah. Sutcliffe on the mound. Mark I mean, Grace at first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those were the days. Yeah. Harry Carey. Yes, for sure. Good stuff. All right, so Cubs. All right, so this, I know you may not care, but NBA. Tell me. Who oh, you got? I, I, I do, I do somewhat care. Um, okay. Man, I don't, I don't, I don't have one now. Okay. But I, I was a, I was a Pistons guy. Bad back, boys. Back, been the bad boy era. That I was a Pistons like guy, and uh, you know, I, I never was. Now I, I respect and love Jordan, but I was anti Jordan. What's your, your Isaiah Thomas guy? Yeah, I was Isaiah Thomas, yeah. and I was I wanted to beat Jordan up. Sure. And <laughs> my brother was diehard Jordan, so I I didn't like Jordan. Okay. My my brother loved the Cowboys, so I didn't. I grew up hating okay. the Cowboys. Okay. So it's sibling rivalry. It is. It, that's what it is. And okay. then and then then I got on the Kobe Bryant bandwagon. I loved Kobe Bryant. Okay. And so when all that when he you know when he retired and all that kind of kind of fell off the. The NBA a little bit. Okay, I like, I like Steph Curry though. Steph, Steph's great. I love what I like what he's about. Yeah, the great guy, awesome legend, Kyrie. right? Changed the game. Kyrie for sure. Kyrie, all right. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, Kyrie Irving, that's your guy, huh? Yeah, yeah for Steph sure. Steph Curry did change the game. He did. I mean, look game. at Caitlin Clark. Oh man, for sure. Like, as soon as you cross half court, you got to guard him. Yeah. Right. So, all right. Well, that's good. That's football. That's baseball. It's that's that's basketball. Not a hockey guy, huh? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. All right, My, well, good deal. Again, uh, Coach Landers would be mad that I said that. He loves hockey. Well, I love hockey. Do you? Hockey's great. Dallas Stars. If cool. I if I could get in a game, you know, and, you and see go. it. We got to go one time. Uh, yeah. We go. But there's people have tickets. Uh, head. Get with Chip uh, Chip Head. He's, you know, he'll oh, yeah? Up. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't big on an NBA deal until I went to the Mavs yeah. thing. And it, man, going to see it live is just. How many games? Oh, how many fun. games you've gone they're to? They're freaks, aren't they? Yeah. They're they're unbelievable. unbelievable. Crazy unbelievable. stuff. Unbelievable. They're they're some athletic dudes. We went to the game last yesterday, which was an overtime win, and it was uh, amazing. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, good deal, coach. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. We're gonna hang. You're gonna st stick around for another segment, and then uh, we'll we'll talk some some other stuff. So yes, sir. You got time to hang out with? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, welcome back to the Goldthwaite Guys podcast. We're here uh, with Coach Andy Howard, uh, Goldthwaite football head coach and athletic director uh, here in Goldthwaite. Thank you so much for coming out and hanging out with us, Coach, and uh, giving us the whole spill of the, the season that's coming and uh, that we experienced this year. Thank you for being a part of this. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. And, Man, we'd uh, like to get to know a little bit about you about outside of the the coaching deal, just a little bit more about you if, if – I always wonder when do you have time to yeah, I don't. Do you ever have free time. I don't. And, you know, that's why we – Well, I knew going in this profession, you know, you wouldn't. Yeah. And, you know, I've got a wife and Kim that, you know, coaches' wives are special. They are. They're special because I don't – I don't know. I don't know who she is right now. I mean, you <laughs> yeah. know, in the springtime. Seen her in a month, huh? And uh, yeah. so they're special, and you know, and we got four kids at home. That she, they're she, all involved in sports. Yeah, they're all involved, and she's raising them. Yeah, I, I mean, it's really what it. it is, you know. And so, she's unbelievable, you know. And in order to do this job, you got to have a good one at home for sure. Yeah, and you know what, coach? And this is for every coach. That we have in Goldthwait. I'm pro coach. I love the coaches that we have in this in this community, 
and uh, they, you and they are so underappreciated as far as uh, what you're worth. And, you know, it's kind of like you can't put a, a, a price on what a, a good coach is worth to the kids and to the program. So um, I know they're, every one of them is are underpaid. Uh, you agree Absolutely. with that, right? I mean, for, for the amount of time and effort. Uh, I think uh, my buddy's a head coach. He said, if you put the time in and you paid by the hour – um, what you're, uh, you know, what you put in, it would be just dollars on an hour, if that, a couple of dollars an hour, with the amount of time and everything that you put in. So I wish we got paid like that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> By the hour, that'd be yeah, a good deal. That'd be right? awesome <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, that's good. What's this? Um, what's the summer looking like personally for you, as far as travel, vacation? What's it looking like? We kind of we kind of travel by the seat of our pants. You know, we don't ever plan trips. Uh, you know, it's tough financially. You know, four yeah. kids got one yeah. fixing to go to college and driving, driving yeah. gas. I mean, what's up with the gas right <laughs> now? And uh, election, too. you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got to feed them, and you know, and so and we spend a lot of money on sports. You know, yeah. for their sports. You know, throughout the summer, and so uh, you know, main thing is is. You know, our family, we're together uh, in the summer a little bit more. We Good. see each other a little bit more, and uh, we try to we try to find different different things to do. You know, we like yeah. to go, you know, one of our best trips is going down to the, you know, the Frio and, and you know, taking those type of trips, you know, that kind of, you know, not a lot of planning has to go yeah. on on those things. And, Just get you there. know, get up and go to a, go to a water park, yeah. uh, things like that, co- stay a night. Mm-hmm. You know, and then come back and go to work. You cool. know, so yeah. uh, it's uh, we kind of fly by the seat of our pants as far as vacations go. But we do swim. Right? We've got the one, you know, one of those built-up pools in the backyard. We swim nearly every day. Oh, that's cool. And you know, I've got a little six-year-old too. Yeah. So He's keep me. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, he is. He <laughs> is. He's pretty tight. He uh, yeah. he Same. cooks breakfast. Oh, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be myself. Oh, you're, the, be you're the breakfast guy. Yes. What time do you start your day? 4.30, 5 o'clock? 5.20 every day I wake up. I wake up at 5.20 every day. Mm. Who cooks supper? On purpose. That would be my wife. Your wife? Or my wife. Pizza or yes. Yeah. Hey, well, let's, because there's, I have a bone to pick with you as far as the food, and maybe this is a challenge of throwing down the gauntlet here, but I've heard through the grapevine that you are a stir-fry, <laughs> stir-fry genius and um you know the hibachi grill and your fried rice is second to none is that I, true is that a you know or what's it's it? pretty good okay. i can do all the tricks too they do really i can do all the you tricks a little rice volcano and i can yeah. look yeah. onion, onion volcano, <laughs> onion volcano <laughs> yeah. and and i can throw my knives around i can do all that stuff yeah. uh russ can boil water <laughs> i can't you water. know my wife loves those hibachis, yeah. and I'm not a fan. Yeah, you're not a fan. I like it when okay. I get there, but I'd rather go get some Mexican food. Okay, you know, and so, okay. but we we go to those hibachis every. If we're gonna go out to eat, we're gonna go to hibachi if we're in a bigger town. And uh, so I've kind of learned. Uh, I just watch them, right? Watch sure. them cook it, yeah. and so. You know, just like everybody now has one of those Blackstone griddles. That's and, what I got, yeah. And you, you got throw one? it all on. I got one. And right. So that's what I cook it on, and uh, that's pretty good. It's I made good. some about two weeks ago, and it's okay. it's pretty dang well, good. Uh, Roundtree told me that um, he said he, he said you were going to tell him the recipe and haven't gotten to it. So I don't know if he's mad or, or bitter or what he is, <laughs> but uh, he said I needed to ask you about the, about the, the, the hibachi. Have you tried the uh, katanas in Brownwood? I have not. That's you need to take Kim there. That's that's okay. a good spot. Where's it at? I don't. Uh, I didn't know there was uh, a place. Is it by the traffic tea, the old traffic tea. Um, You're asking a northeast Texas uh, guy. Chick Fil A just down the street from Chick Fil A. No, no, no. no it's back it's, the other way. It's across early. from um, uh, Slotsky's, right? Oh yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Yes, I have not been there. Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> that's my Sweet. wife's favorite spot. Okay. And uh, she's a stir fry person. I have done the stir fry. Um, the last time I did it was a, was a, a fail, but the first time, <laughs> the first time I did it was excellent. And, uh, so, uh, me and we need to have a, a, a cook off. We do. Okay. And that's, that, that'll be exciting. So maybe yes. we do that this summer. A lot of garlic. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. A lot okay. of garlic. You got to right. put a lot of garlic in that. All right. More than I would want, but they like it. Hey, whatever. All right. That's exciting. That's exciting. All right. So. Give me some hobbies. What do you, what do you like to do when you're not coaching? You said travel, but what what is what is exciting for you? What what do you like to do? 
Well, um, you know, anything that involves being around my kids, I, yeah. I love it. And, you know, like today, the eclipse. Yeah, that's cool. You know, today's going to be a day I'll never forget. I was, you know, the there was not a car on that highway right out by in front of my house, Highway 16. I live yeah. right off the road there. There wasn't a car going. It was me and my four kids and my wife. We were laying on a blanket mm-hmm. in the on the lawn yeah. watching the eclipse. And yeah. I, that was perfect for right. me. Like, right. that's exactly Time what I – Absolutely, bit. it did. Yeah, right. It did. And so, like, that was – that's a day I will never forget, you know. And so yeah. uh, spending time with my kids, you know, when, when I'm not – when I'm not with everybody else's kids, right. you know, I tell our I tell our program all the time. I'm with y'all more than I'm with my own personal. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And I coach you guys more than I do my personal kids. Right. And right. so I said something about a coach's wife earlier, but it's coaches' kids mm-hmm. are a different animal as well. Yes, they have to make and, that uh, sacrifice. They do, and so uh, I like to spend some time with them, helping them with sports. Yeah. Uh, just me personally, you know. Uh, sure. we, we got a cage out behind our house. We hit yeah. and do stuff like that and, and do that. You know, I used to love golf. I used to play yeah. a lot of golf. Did you? Okay. I did. Awesome. Before the four kids. You right, know? right. And, and I, so I, I'll try to find some time to do that in the summer. Good. Uh, Coach Burnett, you know, down at Brownwood, yeah. he, he lives on hot, the hideout, you know, and so I oh, just, yeah, we right. just go jump in and, and start playing, you know, with him. But, yeah. um, I do, I do like to play golf, uh, so spend time with my kids, and then if I was gonna have a day to myself, it'd be on a golf course. That's good. And, and I, and I heard you're kind of a, a lawn guy too. You like your lawn, and maybe that's, but uh, you know, outdoors and mowing and kind of is that the therapy time? It is. But I grew up a cotton farmer. Oh, really? So like, yeah, I grew up in Roscoe, and so my my whole family is still in Roscoe. Really. Um, my mom and uncles and aunts and my granddad just recently passed away, but he, he you know, he operated the whole thing. And uh, so we're all cotton farmers and grew up in that. I was the guy that didn't go back, you know, and I just, you know, there's days I wish I was on that tractor. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of sure. days I wish I was sure. on that tractor. And, yeah. and so I just, I don't know, meticulous and straight rows and, yeah plant things and grow things and gotcha. the baseball field the softball yeah. field i love that stuff i love yeah. doing that and you can tell it takes it. a lot of time but my wife doesn't like it that yeah. i like that because i'm can, always up there you know and there's this expression that uh i was taught in seminary and i think it rings true with coaches too but my seminary professor i remember first day of school he, he told me he said if you can do anything else <laughs> anything else turn a ranch you know um you know, go go work the, the fast food or or whatever. It says, it, what if you can do anything else, go do that instead of being a a pastor. And he's like, and the mindset of that was, this is your calling. This is what you know that you are. This is who you are in your very soul. And I think that rings true with coaches. You just know who you are, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I fought it for a lot of years, like. When I was in high school, my parents and my coaches and everybody told me I was going to be a coach. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm not going to be a coach because you're telling me I'm going to be a coach. Right, right. You know, so I went to school. <laughs> to be a non-conformist. Yeah, I went to school to become a – I wanted to be a chiropractor. I, w- I went to school and got an exercise science degree to become a chiropractor. And I went to I, I went to my uh, – intern. I did my internship after I graduated. Uh, and I loved the guys I was with, but I hated every minute of it. I was really? stuck in a room yeah. every day. Yeah. And that was not how I was brought up. So I went back to school. And was a GA assistant coach at Hardin Simmons, and got all my education stuff. And okay. anyway, yeah, they were they were right. Gotcha. I well, was going to be a coach. Travis, what they tell you you were going to be when you grew up? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you got me on spot there. Just, just do the best you can. We're, we're in church. <laughs> my parents did the best they could, they could do with what they had to work with. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's so good. You, you're not in farming country. You're down in ranching country. You doing ranching? I, you know, when I first when we first moved to Gothwood, I told Kim, I said, I'm buying some cows. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted cows. You know, there's not, there are no fences in Roscoe. Yeah, right. It's just open yeah. farmland, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I was able to to lease a place for my father in law and put some cows on there. Jeff and I went in mm-hmm. together on that, and my brother in law, mm-hmm. and uh, and then since the market, you know, when we first got in, of course. It was it was, it was yeah. sky high. It was yeah. really good, was and, good and we screwed it up. <laughs> you know, we Jeff fault. and I messed it up, and so 
now we we've do, we dove into the sheep. There you, you know, go. so you so well, you we always bought it, bought high and sold them cheap. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's a good, it's a good yeah. bottle. It's a good business. Model. That's right. So a little different, a little different than the best way to than make farming. A million dollars ranching is to start out with two million. <laughs> that's what I've heard. Uh, yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how those ranchers do it. I don't either. I, you know, I have enough to keep my tax exemption. Um, you know, my boys showed. I know yours uh, show goats uh, during the stock show season. That's that's always a, a good way to learn responsibility and things like that. So but that's good. Yeah. So, coach, let, let me hit you with some rapid fire. Travis, you got anything else? Do any fishing? Yeah. Let's I do. It's just stock tank. Stock tank yeah. fishing. Yeah. I'm right. not. I'm not. I don't have bass boat or anything like that. So I'm just a. Uh, I'm a yeah. worm guy. I throw it out there and fish from the bank. It's that's more right. More of a relaxation. Yes. Than a yes. Yeah. Well, that's good because I, I grew up in northeast Texas where I had all these great lakes around me. Like I say great lakes, but Fork and Tyler and Palestine and just massive bodies of water. And uh, they came down here and I never heard what – I didn't know what a tank was. <laughs> I, that's I, all I've known is tank. Right? Yeah. A lake or tank. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, so I, it was just a, a pond. And I'm like, that's not a pond. That's like a more of a just a dugout thing there. But that's when I learned what a tank was. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's different for sure. Uh, but, um, all right, you ready? Let's do some ri rapid fire questions, Coach. You ready? Let's see here. First one is this one. What's your favorite food? Nachos. Nachos. Every, every five times a week, I'm eating nachos. No kidding. Yes, I love them. Okay. Just throw them in the microwave, cheese on some chips, jalapenos, and let's go. That's it. No meat. If I have some leftover. Are you a beans guy, too? If I have leftover beans. Whatever you can put on there, you will eat it. I'm not making the meat and the beans to go on the nachos. It's more of like I'm going to eat a snack before I go to bed. Gotcha. Nachos. Gotcha. <laughs> so it, there's this, like we were, me and Travis were at a Maverick game, and it was we I got nachos, and he grabbed the nacho, it was, it was one chip, and the whole thing came up. <laughs> and he started eating it. And he said, that's one chip. <laughs> that's one chip. <laughs> so, yeah. needless to say, uh, uh, fifteen dollars later, he had nachos. Yeah. No. You know, if we have leftover ground beef, you know, because we normally do, then yeah, I'll package it and I'll leave it for nachos. There you, there you go. And I'll throw it on there if I have it. But if not, it's cheese, chips, and but you got. I won't eat. I will not eat nachos without jalapenos. Will not you, do. You it. are. Do you, do you, are, do you have his? Uh, Mexican or Hispanic in you? At some like, do you have that in your? My blood? wife says I do, but I really? don't. Okay, I don't. Leaves right. out in the sun all the time. Is that what it is? <laughs> Cast iron belly. Uh, all right, Travis, what you got? Oh man, movies. You get to watch much TV? Ten Cup. Favorite. That's Ten a good cup. one. I'll go ahead and say this: Kevin Costner is the greatest sports actor. Absolutely. I'm history. in. I'm in on that because Bull Durham. Bull Durham. Ten uh, Cup. For love of the games, love one of my game. bet, my favorite. Yeah. That one. yeah. Field of uh, Dreams. Field of Dreams. Draft Day. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. Yes. So we watched that one day on the way back from the Mavs game. Don't tell anybody, but I was driving and watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So here, here about this um, favorite song. Hmm. I, I don't. I don't know if I have a uh, small town Saturday night. That's small kind of my go-to. How, How catch them? How catch them? Okay. And All then right. and then, but but my pen when I play music. Yeah. It's the on Pandora. I'm still an old Pandora guy. Okay. They make fun of me for it, but Earl Thomas Conley, there Pandora Radio. So you're you're a country eighties eighties country genre guy. Yes. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. I I would have I, I would have pegged pegged you for a hip hop guy. Oh really? <laughs> I would have. I, I, I like. Yeah. I like. I like. You know, some old Easy E yeah. and Tupac. I like that. I mean, I listen to it. Sure. Sure. But uh, you get jiggy with it. And we'll hey, I will. I will. <laughs> we'll all save that for later. <laughs> <laughs> right, what you got, Charlie? Man, that's about it, man. Nice. All right, tell me your favorite favorite place. You said, let's say favorite restaurant. What's your favorite restaurant? Um. Well, shoot. Um, I'll be some Mexican. I I, love, yeah, I do. Any 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 Mexican food place like like here in town, I'm gonna go to Laja. I love Laja. I've got some boys that that are waiters over there, so I go yeah, see them. Sure. I love Laja. Uh, nothing against El Tapo. I'll eat that too. But love El Tapo. Um, yeah, Rod, shout out Rodriguez's. Yeah. Yes, but uh, you know, if I'm gonna go spend some money, yeah, I go to Saltgrass. I love Saltgrass. Really, yeah. I love getting the ribeyes there, and then uh, you know. One of my top go-tos is, like, like I asked, I got a birthday coming up. I said, all I want to do, I need some new Oakleys. I need okay. some new sunglasses. Sure, sure. 
And then I want a gift card to Wingstop. I love, oh, I love that's wings. That's my guy. Yeah. That's my guy. I, I love wings. You just made a friend there. And I so. love Wingstop. <laughs> that is my, okay, give me your, give me your. Uh, what you, about vacation spots? Yeah. Snow skiing, anything like that? Yeah, Steak snow skiing. So I grew up snow skiing. Uh, we'd go in during Christmas. Yeah. And so with my family, I love those trips. I love yeah, it Roscoe because it's. snow skied there. You had to be drugged by pickup, though. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Done that. Been there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I love snow skiing. Uh, you know, I haven't been in a while. I've taken my kids once. Have you? Is that it? And that's Never it. Been. But uh, it's it's just relaxing. You get on those Is mountains, it? it's snowing. It's just so calm and relaxing. You're, are you a snowboarder? No. Okay. Have you tried it? I have not. Uh, I, I could do it. Could you? I could do it, but I haven't. I not feel tried. like I could too, but my knees say I couldn't. Right. <laughs> you know right. I mean? There's a whole lot about just <laughs> <That's here>. right. <laughs> my, Yeah. All right. So go, I got to go back to the wings. All right, uh-huh. so you're getting a ten count wing, or an eight count wing. Uh-huh. Give me your two. Give me your two uh, spices. I'm going mango habanero. Okay. And Cajun. Cajun can't go wrong there. Spicy. Good yes. deal. I like it. I've had you know the Atomics. You know when yeah you, the when when Wingstop first came out. I mean it was yeah. I don't know, fifteen twenty years ago. Yeah, been a while. And there weren't many of them. No. But. It, I always, you know, I grew. I, I went to Hooters, and those I thought those were the best wings yeah. back then. They, they were breaded were, yeah, and all that. Yeah. And then I went to Wingstop. I was like, wait, this is different. This, yeah. I like this. They're, and so, but back when you ordered the Atomics, of course, I just wanted the hottest ones because no, when nothing. You had to sign a waiver on, right? Yeah, you hate it. yeah nothing yeah. was too hot, right? Right, right. But the first time I went in Wingstop, the guy said, "Well, you have to try the sauce before you we give them to you. get them." Really? And so he had a little cup. You know, I tried the sauce. Yeah, it's fine. Give give me the wings. Couldn't eat them. Uh-uh. Really? Like they were that hot. It was unbelievable. It, it, I think he did it on purpose, though. You get them so hot, they're done. You can't even enjoy. No, them. it uh, uh, it was it was hot. Now they're not. I've had them since, and they're not what that okay. night was. So they've toned them down. Toned, it, either that, or he just wanted to prove a point. Okay. Oh, I night. took a toothpick and just stuck it in that sauce, and uh, I was about to have to call the ambulance. Really? <laughs> <can't laughs> Those are the <laughs> hottest <laughs> wings. Oh, really? Man, yeah. All right. So uh, the the million dollar question then, because this is going to determine how I view you. Um, bone in or boneless? Bone in all the way. That's that, it. I'm not eating that's, chicken nuggets. That's right. That's all that is is chicken nugget there with some go. sauce. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. not. That is. I can't believe they even serve those. I know. I, it's not a wing. It's chicken butt. <laughs> that's right. It's not even a wing. Like, what are we doing? Is it even chicken. It's. <laughs> I don't. We don't know. We don't. We know. Like, why, and why don't they put in the menu? Why don't they put in the menu chicken nuggets? It's right. not. A wing. It's not no, boneless right. wings. Right. It's not. I agree. You you have grown so much of respect in my eyes <laughs> for that. Um, you've you've ruined Chase's life. Uh, so, I wouldn't have thought Chase yeah. would have been a boneless guy. Yeah. I really you know wouldn't. Richie's Richie's a boneless guy too. Where's he from? He's from he's from all over. He's, I'm not gonna say he's from <laughs> I'm not gonna say he's from yeah. the Dale. He's not from the Dale. <laughs> but uh, Oklahoma is where he's at. Travis. Right What's yeah. Travis? Me? Yeah. Like Really? Really? More so bone in, yeah. 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 If you're gonna go eat wings, bone in, bone in. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. What yeah. are you bringing? What do you? What do you? What spices you get? Nah, I just, I'll try them all. Just mix them up. I can't remember what I, it's been so long since I've been anywhere to eat any of them. Okay, mine, yeah. mine's spicy Korean. Uh huh. And then, and then I go Cajun. I get uh, Parmesan something or another. Yeah, uh, yeah. And Garlic then, uh, another kind. I'll just mix them up. Yeah. Just Lemon pepper. Good. Yeah. You like that? I think, I think so. Good deal. Yeah. All right. Well, good deal. That's that's important stuff. All right, Coach, that's that's about what we got here today. Um, anything else for us? Man, it's been fun. I'm glad you came. Yeah. I mean, yes, yes. A, I love this stuff. I wish I'd do it every up. week. I mean, with yeah. us two. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, Coach, you may be a, it may <laughs> yeah. be a regular. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. We need to have, we need to have like, uh, coffee with Coach or something. That'd like, be good. Yeah. Like yeah. Just drink some coffee in the morning and talk about the week or something. Yeah. Like, I have the time for that every week. Oh, yeah, right, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, here's, here's some that we're going to go ahead and put on, on notice. Uh, Coach Head, we're going to want to talk to Coach Head. We're going to want to talk to Coach Herms Meyer. Yeah. We're going to talk to Coach Edwards. We're going to talk to uh, Landers, uh, Norwood. We're going to talk to who else? Um, uh, Jernigan. Jernigan. Yeah, That'll be yeah. a great one. Jernigan's a blast. I've known him a long time. Spradley. Yeah. Spradley. So, Coach, yeah. Coach yeah. Um, Ashley and Tim, both mm-hmm. of them yep. are on notice. And so that's going to be. You know, and, and one of the coaches that, that I think. You know, it's kind of under the radar, but I, you know, I live it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we live it every day. Uh, it's Jessica Sutherland, she does our girls. Yeah, she yeah. does our girls' junior high program. Yes. And 
she's top notch, you know, and doesn't want any praise. I mean, that is a tough job. Like she is strictly down there with those girls. And then of course she helps with some high school stuff too. But you know, she's not, I guess she's not, when you go to those varsity games, Mm -hmm. she's not on in the spotlight. Right. But what has she done to get those girls headed on down the right road? And, and, you know, a lot of our success is built in the junior high program. I mean, that's where, that's where we start, you know, and that's what we believe in. And, and so, you know, all of our coaches, you know, on, on our boys and all of our coaches are in every a- junior high athletic period. Yeah. Um, we've started sixth grade athletics and, yeah. you know, we started that deal. So our kids, we think, have a jump start. So Coach Sutherland and my wife are really close friends. In fact, they go eat lunch together once a week. And uh, we have a, a, a great uh, friendship with them. Used to be Pelham, now it's mm-hmm. Sutherland. And, you know, another thing, she's, she's got, a you know, an infant. Yes. And you know that's you know that season of life's crazy yes. in and of itself. But then do what she does. And then the seventh graders is who she coached this year. And kind of going back to that thing, there's there's several of those seventh graders never touched the basketball. Right. And she uh, coached them and had a winning season or yeah. a successful year. So kudos to her. Right. So that's good stuff. Awesome, coach. Well, thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out with us. All you coaches, you're on notice. We want you to come be a part of the show and. And hang out with us, um, and and we will be back to close the shop up here in a minute. Again, if you want to contact the show, reach out to us at goldthwaiteguys at yahoo.com, and we'll see you around the break. Welcome back to the podcast. So glad to have you hanging out with us again. Contact the show at goldthwaiteguys at yahoo.com. And that's going to be the email address, but it doesn't have to be the name. I know you're not sold on the name. I know. No, we can work on that. We can, bit, we can work on that. We'll we talked right. about having called the side. Uh, side track or side, or something. Yeah, side track yeah. show. And yeah. later on, we get, we get a little more used to this. Get, get, get off uh, in here. You'll understand why. I liked Coach's. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Deal where he said uh, coffee with coaches. That'd be a cool yeah, deal there. Yeah. yeah, that'd be fun. But yeah, we're gonna have um, we're gonna do this. Try to do this. I don't know if we'll do it every week or do it every other week or whatever kind of our schedule yeah, allows us to do. Um, but it's gonna be fun. We're we're gonna uh, just kind of shoot the bull. Yeah. And uh, I think this first one here is a pretty good deal. Yeah, it's fun, wasn't it? A little excited about it. A little yeah. nervous at first, but yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll again. You can contribute to the show by emailing us and telling us what you think we should call it. Um, again, it has to be appropriate. I know some oh, yeah. of y'all are going to have to go ahead, especially your friends. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah got need to block a few. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're trying to keep it clean and right. stealth politics a little bit. but Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, we, we want to kind of main, mainly yeah. talk about things yeah, that pertain stuff. to Goldway, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. we had a big one t- today talking about all the sports that – uh, Goldthwaite is involved in, and, and so it was a fun show. Um, probably going to have this uh, happen on Mondays, and we'll just see how it goes. Um, you know, kind of like Coach, uh, I, my schedule gets pretty busy. I do, you know, some of the home softball games, home yep. home baseball games, home track. Of course, track's over with as far as home stuff. So and then rodeo season. We'll get into rodeo season, yep. and I'll be doing some of that. So um, my wife has told me that I need to slow down. But uh, I just work a day and a half a week, bro. I mean, you know, 30 way. minutes, right? 30 minutes on Sunday, 30 <laughs> minutes right. on Wednesday. That's right. Yeah. That's what, that's what like some people. coaches. They, they yeah. Get, school starts at 8. The bell rings at 345. I, 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 mean, I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's it's good time. Travis, thanks for, for uh, doing this and pushing me to do this. And yeah. and I hope this is the first of hundreds. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Uh, it's going to be exciting. So. We're going to sign off. Travis, you got nuggets of wisdom? <laughs> oh, you bet. I'm just <laughs> loaded down with it. No, uh, I, mean, I just want to thank Howard for coming in. and Yeah. And you as a friend and a neighbor, I guess, man. Well, well, well uh, you can't choose your neighbors. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. Is that <laughs> what I'm saying? You can, poot, you can pick your nose yeah. and you can pick your friends? Options are limited. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> no, it's a good no. time. No, thank you again. And uh, we're signing out, and we will be back soon. Hey, thanks for watching.